Hi, my name is Minister Nathan Salter. I'm the president of Salter's Christian Music, and I want to share with you my heart and my, my vision of what God has put together in this Breakthrough and His Presence project. In the year 2000, the Lord spoke to me to put together an instrumental project where we just create an environment for worship on our holy instruments without no singing, but just where people can just get blessed and bathe in God's presence. And on June 15, 2006, here in the city of Buffalo, New York, that vision finally came to pass. And we have captured it on DVD for the world to be able to see it. You're going to see people of all races, creeds, and colors, and backgrounds, ages, worshiping God and getting breakthroughs. And we are honored that you're going to be able to experience what we experienced that night. Prepare yourself. Get your praise shoes on. Get your worship ready because you're about to get a breakthrough in this presence. Enjoy this. Once again, we thank and praise the Lord for an opportunity just to dwell in his presence, to come together, not to be entertained, but to glorify God. In the name of the Lord, I have the privilege of introducing our, the person that has given his time, has given his effort and given his energy unto the Lord. And I remember talking to Nate about eight years ago or so. And I remember saying to him, Nate, you know, God can anoint your talent. He can anoint your ability and he will anoint all those areas of your life. But the first thing he has to anoint is your heart. How we know that God anoints the heart first before he anoints your ability and your talent. And I believe that God has a special place for Nate in the kingdom the favor of God follows Nathan Salter the power of God follows his life because he's given what God has given to him back to the church amen how many know that the anointing doesn't belong to you it belongs to God and if you have the anointing your anointing that God has placed on your life should be blessing somebody else but I thank God once again, for knowing this man, I thank God for what he has not only given him, but how he's blessed other people in the name of the Lord. I remember him in the infancy of his ministry, but God has raised him from one level to the next in the name of the Lord. And I believe that God has great things in store for him, for the body of Christ. And let us prepare ourselves tonight to lift up the name of Jesus, give God the glory, Give God the honor and make up in our minds. We will not leave this place the same way we came. But when we leave this place, we'll know that we have been in the presence of the Lord. And at this time, I present to some and introduce to others, Minister Nathan Salter. Let's give God the glory and the honor as he comes in Jesus' name. God bless everybody in here. I hope y'all ready to worship God tonight. What I would like us to do first, before anything, I want everybody who belongs in the kingdom of God to shout. I need to say this before anything happens. This is not a really a recording. This is an experience that's being recorded. Live recording is this program. This is going to be something you're never going to see before. And it's only going to happen tonight. And you're going to be a part of it. Amen. Amen. I want to say to you tonight that the musicians that's up here, we're not going to entertain nobody. If, if, if I, all I can say to you is just come ready to dance. <laughs> Come ready to worship. If God don't get the glory tonight, I'm going to fail my mission. God has to get the glory tonight. Amen. 
Every note that's going to be played tonight is going to magnify him. If you're here to see me, you're going to be very disappointed. But if you're here to see Jesus, you will leave it with a breakthrough. I promise you. The word of the Lord came to me this morning and said, everybody who is coming tonight is designed from heaven to be here. This is not something that you just came because you thought, oh, it's Thursday, it's Sunday, let me just... God got something for you tonight. But I'm going to say this before we go ahead and worship. How many of you in here really want to live a free life in God? Yeah. And let me explain this. Freedom is a two-way thing. The person who has the keys to lose you opens the door. They have access. They open the door for you to be free. And then the person who's bound has to walk out of the door after the door is open. Jesus did his part. Jesus died on the cross. He's already did his part. So if you want to be free, guess who got to do something tonight? So don't say, Lord, free me. He did it. He's did it. So you're not waiting for God to free you no more. Look at your neighbor and say, you're not waiting for God to free me. You are already free through on God's part. What we need you to do tonight, why we worship on these instruments, all we need you to do tonight is supply faith. If you can build your faith up tonight, God will accomplish what he wanted done tonight. If you can just apply faith. I believe there is some miracles that's going to take place here tonight. All our job is up here. What we're going to do as musicians, we're going to plow the environment. We're going to push back all the bad thoughts and all the depression that's going on so you can get a clear vision from God. So that's why I need y'all not to focus on us tonight because we're not the thing that can heal you. <laughs> we're the only thing. All we're doing is just opening the door because some of you need a fresh vision from the Lord. Some of you need to see what God want to take you next. And sometimes your job, your family has been distracting you too much. So tonight, as we worship tonight through our instruments, we're just going to clear the clouds open so you can see, from, see clearly what God has for your life. Amen. Join your neighbor's hand, stand next to you. We're going to ask the presence of the Lord. I thank God for my pastor who, who just prayed. But we're going to ask the presence of the Lord to come in. And while we're playing this song, I pray that you don't look at us. Please don't look at us. I just want you to go into worship. Because we want the presence of the Lord to fill this place. As Jessica plays, we want your presence on the harp. I want everybody's eyes closed. And I want your faith to build up. Because God is going to give you a breakthrough in his presence. Amen. Just worship him with your eyes closed.
want everybody, I want everybody who's a worshiper to just say holy to the Lord. Just say holy. That's what the Lord is used to. In Revelation, they said they cry before his throne day and night saying holy. Just say holy. I want everyone on the building just saying holy. Just keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Let's, let's create the environment that he's used to. Keep saying holy, that's what he loves. Come on, keep those mouths open. Don't focus on us. this place with the praise of your lips.
everybody lift up them hands towards heaven. Lift up them hands straight towards heaven. Whatever distractions on your mind, get it out of your mind right now, because I guarantee you, in order for God to do what he has to do tonight, we need everybody on one accord in this place. We need everybody on one accord. All the speculators, we come against every spirit that just want to speculate, but we come, we call the worshiper to come forth. God shows up where there's unity. And if you're here to just seek up music, guess what? You're at the wrong place. You need to be downtown at the Lafayette Square. But if you're here to get a breakthrough from the Lord, I want you to lift up your hands and open up your mouth and bless his name. somebody who you don't know and I want you to embrace them just go to somebody and embrace them and tell them you are gonna get your breakthrough before you leave here tonight go to somebody and embrace them
that have been saved. And we can't open up our mouth for the God that saved us. Open our mouth and bless him. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, tonight is going to be the most awesome experience for you. Some of y'all feel the presence of God already. We ain't even did nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you give God some faith tonight, your life would not be the same. That's all God wants is your faith. Without faith, it's impossible to what? So you could come to church all you want, but without faith, guess what? You would be coming to church. But that don't necessarily mean you're pleasing God. He wants your faith, because guess what? He has blessings waiting for you, but guess what? He needs your faith to go up and get it. Oh, boy, I feel you. Boy, y'all got me charged up in here. We're going to have fun tonight. I, I want to I uh, share this. Mm. Hallelujah, God. How many of you feel his presence already? I want to share this with you, a brief testimony. As Pastor Sanders was talking earlier about um, how I got started, and I'll just share briefly because we're about to do a, a, a piece that I wanted to give back to the Lord, a personal piece that I wanted to give back to the Lord on my drum set. And I want to explain to you a little bit about it so you can understand why we're doing what we're doing. What you're about to hear is not just music, it's not just noise, it's not just something for us to do. But what you're hearing actually is it's me saying to the Lord, Lord, it was you that I'm able to play. It was because of you that I was able to do anything. So I want to be able to give God my best back. But I do want to share this. Um, when I first got started in 1993, I was uh, the most horrible drummer that you can ever see. <laughs> I was such a mess. I mean, I couldn't hold a pair of drumsticks in my hand for two seconds without them dropping or falling. But one thing I've learned was I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you bless me to play, I promise I'll play to glorify you, you only. I don't want to play for anything else that's not going to bring you glory. I'm not going to, I don't want to play for anything that's not going to give you praise. And we're going to do a little piece, but I want, I want you to more hear the heart of the music and not just hear the music. I want you to hear what the testimony behind it, because as we play, we're not playing just because we want to take up space, but we're playing every, every musician that you see up here recommended, I mean, that's represented, we all have a testimony that God has brought us out of something, and he's the one that anointed us to play. And so tonight, we just want to encourage somebody, not just in music, but an area that God has gifted you in. One of the first things the devil will do is he'll send fear your way and tell you you're not capable of doing anything. You can't do it. You're not good enough. And that fear and discouragement will try to stop you from being what God called you to be. And I went through that stage, and basically what I want to do with this piece, and I pray that y'all pray with us. Um, I do pray that you stand up and worship, and you may not understand what we're playing, but guess what? It's all going to him. And we just ask you to join in and just worship and praise with us, dance if you want to. There's going to be a, um, and before the half is over, I'm just letting you know now, everybody raise your hand if you got two feet. <laughs> I know some of y'all got confused when y'all ain't know what to lift up. <laughs> But the reason why I say that is because there's a song that we're going to be doing in, in a little, little bit, and we need everybody's participation. This whole place is going to dance. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to dance too. So it's, it's very simple, but we need everybody to be involved because we want to show the whole world how we worship God in the Buffalo area. Amen? So what we're going to do this time, we're going to praise God on our instruments. And I just pray that you pray for us, pray with us, as we glorify God. Those of you here at the Great Refuge Temple Church, you may, you may know some of these songs. If you know the songs, you can just jump in and sing along with us. But for those of you who don't know it, just stand up and give God praise us. Because guess what? What you're seeing is unlearned, uneducated musicians worshiping God. That God anointed for his praise and glory. Amen. And we always think miracles. <laughs> we always think miracles is people getting out of wheelchairs and Blind eyes open, but miracles is God taking people who don't have no musical background and anoint them to play. That's a miracle. So I'm a walking miracle, y'all. So would you see me doing these drums tonight? It's for him, amen. So just pray for us, amen.
sure they were going to actually stand up with us. And you go clap along with us, amen. <laughs>
I want everybody that's ready to go to the next level. I want everybody that's ready to go to the next level for the next two minutes. I want it to be so loud in here that the people downtown can hear us. One, two, three. There's an anointing in this place. I want everybody to lift up their hands and start shouting unto God. Hallelujah! It was something behind that, y'all. That wasn't just noise. This was the way I got my breakthrough sometimes. I had to go home and play when I was discouraged. If I could stir somebody in here to take your gift to the next level, trust God with what God has given you. I don't know why I feel that to do this, but I want you to go to one, one person and say, I'm going to the next level. Go to somebody and tell them, I'm going to the next level. Get out your seat and go and tell somebody, I'm ready to go to the next level. I don't care how crazy it looks. I don't care if it's drawing. I don't care if it's sewing. I'm going to use what God has given me to use to glorify him. I feel the dance coming on up in this place. I, I'm telling you, I feel the praise about to come up in this place. I want everybody who's ready to go to the next level to start turning around like this. Stump with that devil's head because he's trying to keep you at the same level. But you're supposed to be going out to bless the kingdom of God. With whatever gift God has given you. I don't care if it's music. I don't care if it's whatever. Use it to glorify God and God and anoint it. Ooh, I'm telling you, I feel the praise break coming on, y'all. We wasn't trying to do nothing this fast, but it's too. We just got started, but I'm telling you, I want you to join your neighbor's hand because we're about to dance over here a little bit. I want everybody who's ready to go to the next level to join hands with somebody else. I want you to join hands with somebody else because we're about to give God a quick praise. Is that okay? Y'all gonna praise God. Don't look shy now. Don't dance if you, if you want to stay right where you at. Don't dance. Just sit there and look at me like you're crazy. But for those of you who are ready to go to the next level, I want you to give God a praise. You ready? One, two, one, two, three, come on. Come on, let's get ready to give God some praise. Come on, I want everybody dancing. Come on. I'm trying to stir your faith up, y'all, because y'all going to the next level. Don't let the devil cut you down no more. Come on, put them hands together with us. Everybody clap, come on. Come on, get in the miles, y'all. That's okay. I want everybody who got a gift that you ready to go to that level. I want you to get in the house and start dancing right now.
y'all, I'm leaving here with my breakthrough in his presence. I ain't waiting for no song. I know what God done for me. Hallelujah. Now I want everybody who's ready to go to the next level to put your hands down. Come on. Y'all feel what I feel up here, but I feel free in the spirit. I can run all over this church. That devil tried to discourage me to play. While I was up here playing, the headphones took it off. I didn't know what I was listening to, y'all. That was the Holy Ghost that kept me on beat. So can y'all do me a favor and praise God for me? Just praise God for me because guess what? I didn't hear nothing. And that whatever happened, I don't know what happened. But it was the Holy Ghost that... The Holy Ghost still trying to stir with somebody's faith. Some of y'all looking too cute. I'm sorry. Y'all need to get out that nice dress because guess what? If you don't get your breakthrough tonight, it's nobody's fault but yours. So I'm gonna encourage everybody who wants something from God to begin to turn around like this. Some of you gonna go home to some situations that you want God to change around for you. Start turning around. I guarantee you, when you walk in the house, God is gonna fix some things around. He's gonna fix some things around. Keep turning. Keep turning. Get you a praise party, y'all. Let's make the devil mad over here. Hallelujah. about to speak something into your spirit and he wants you to hear I hear God saying I made you the head and not the tail 
The reason why you the tail is because you don't trust me enough. You go to everybody else before you go to me. And everybody else keep failing you. You keep coming back to me after everybody's gone. And then when I begin to put you back together again, you go right back to the same people who can't help you. And I hear God saying tonight, I want you to just focus on me tonight. Some of you before the end of this week, before the end of this week, some of you are going to receive a miracle before you this week go into the next week. Some of you have been praying for loved ones. God said, if you praise me tonight on behalf of them, God said, I'll heal them because of your praise and because of your faith. Roma, keep them hands up. God is still speaking. God is about to open up a financial door to the body of Christ. Only those who can be trusted with his resources is going to receive it. Everybody is not going to be rich because everybody can't handle his riches. But there's a spirit of wealth that's about to hit God's people. But those who have been committed and faithful to paying his tithes and giving his offerings and being a giver, God is about to hit you with a financial blessing before the 2007 year. I also hear God saying there's a person in here who has a huge call in your life. The thing that's going to give you your breakthrough is that you have to go to the person that you offended. You can serve me all you want, but until you go face that person and apologize and repent, you will not go to the next level. I don't know who that's for, but I'm just saying what God told me to say. Keep them hands lifted up and eyes closed. Hallelujah. But I hear God saying also, tonight was ordained from the foundations of the world. June 15th will stick in your mind for the rest of your life. Some of you are really going to get free tonight. Some of you have been walking with guilt too long. God said he wants to free you tonight. Tonight you will be free. You will free yourself. He's freed you, but you need to free yourself. And the only way you can do that is to open up in his presence and forget who's around you and just worship him. So as your hands is lifted up, I want you to go in for yourself for a few moments. This What we're doing right now is not planned. We're just following what God is telling us to do. So please, just take a few moments real quick and just talk to him. And be, don't, don't try to hide stuff before him. God already know what you did. Stop trying to go to God like you ain't did nothing wrong. Go to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Help me to get it right. That's the only way you can go to the next level. Just worship him for a few moments. with no music. I just want just your mouth to open up to him with no music. Let him hear you for a minute. I speak freedom into your spirit. I just got free from something, y'all. But guess what? I had to free myself. I've been praying for God to free me for the longest, but guess what? Until I made this step, I wasn't free, and I just got freed in the spirit because I had to confront myself. So confront yourself in his presence. That's the best person to confront it to. Just spend a few moments and just tell him what's on your heart. Don't hide nothing before we go further into this experience tonight. Mm, 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 mm. I 
I hear God saying, don't worry about your tomorrow as you worship him. Don't worry about your tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to take care of itself. Stop worrying about what's happening tomorrow. Just, just enjoy this moment right now. Don't worry about your tomorrow, but trust God today. Don't worry about your tomorrow. Just trust God today. Some of y'all needed this tonight. Some of y'all was carrying so much. You just needed this release tonight. God's presence is more important than this recording. You go ahead and worship him for a few moments. Some of y'all needed this. Some of y'all be carrying so much. 
Just release it in his presence. Release it in his presence.
Music is so powerful. When the enemy is fighting musicians, if there's any musicians in here, when the devil is fighting you, you get away with your instrument. You just glorify God with it with nobody looking. That's where the anointing comes, when nobody's looking when you're playing. These songs we playing tonight is stuff that was birthed out of a lot of prayer, fasting. They direct it right to him. He accepts it. And I tell you, if I, anything I can encourage somebody tonight to do, and that is tell the Lord, Lord, I'm not going to hold back none of the things you've given me. I don't care what it is. And I, I do, I want to encourage everybody who have a gift in the body of Christ to please be free and let the Lord use you the way he called you. I used to be a very wonder, Lord, how are you going to use me through instruments to, to do your work? And he said, all I need you to do is create the environment. I'll do the rest. So tonight, that's all we're doing. We're atmosphere changers tonight because God has a breakthrough and a blessing for you. Amen. Now, I want to read something to you real briefly. The book of Nehemiah, the eighth chapter. You don't have to turn there. The book of Nehemiah, the eighth chapter, said, says in verse 10. I'm going to read the latter part of verse 9. It says, this day is holy unto the Lord. Everybody say holy. holy. This day is holy unto the Lord, your God. Mourn not, nor weep. So nobody here should be looking sad. God has been too good to you for you to be looking sad. Look at your neighbor and make sure they're not looking all sad. This day is holy unto the Lord, your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. June 15, 2006 is holy unto our Lord. It says, neither, it says, neither this, uh, this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord is your strength. <laughs> Y'all should have got happy when I said that. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is your strength. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I know some of y'all who know me personally, y'all know I'm a goofy man. I'll laugh at anything. I'm crazy. I know it. I used to, <laughs> well, somebody in my family said, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm a little cuckoo sometimes. <laughs> Pastor Sanders knows that too. <laughs> but one thing I've learned was I can't let nothing stop my joy. So if I got to go in a corner and just start thinking about something crazy and laughing, I do it to keep my joy. Because <laughs> guess what? You think the devil is after your money. He's trying to get to your joy. Because if your money is tied to your joy, guess what? If he swipe your money, guess what's going with it? If he knows that everything is tied to your things, he's going after your things to get your joy. Because if you keep your joy... If you keep your joy, you can never be depressed. You can never go under. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This song here, this one here is the one I was telling you about. One thing I've learned about, about the Word of God, and trust me, we are about to go into a tense moment of worship in a little bit. I'm talking about we, it's going to get to the point in here. It's going to get so thick in here, y'all. Those of you who have to leave early, I would advise you to leave now because God is going to show up in a way that's going to mess everybody up. I'm, trust me on that one. Before we go into that, there's something God gave me. Not, not too long ago, that I believe is going to be a blessing to the world. It's something called the dance of joy. Everybody say the dance of joy. And this, and this particular one, we, I'm going to need all of your help. I don't need just some of you. I don't need, you know, just this side. I need everybody in this place to help us with this, okay? There's a couple of steps that we go do. We all go dance together. Actually, y'all need to be standing up with me. Let's stand up because y'all got to, you know. Dry those eyes. Stop weeping now because God already, God already did what he needed to do in your heart. <laughs> as some of you dance, as some of us danced, you're going to feel a breakthrough. Where's uh, my good friend Jesse? Where is he at? Jesse, where is Jesse? There he is. Put our hands together for this blessed man of God that's coming up here. <laughs> mm. 
Many of you may have seen this face all over the world. If those of you that haven't seen it, if you have the William Murphy CD, you would have seen this face. <laughs> this song, Let the Glory of the Lord Rise Among Us. This is the, this is the gentleman that has been playing, that played on that CD, that cut. He is a blessed man of God. I'm so honored that he came just to be a part of this with me. And I tell you, he's going to help us on this song. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun. This is, a, this is a type that literally you have to get out of your seats. You can't stay in your seat. Because this video is going all over the world, so we need everybody to really lose something. And I'm going to ask, before we get started, I need everybody who's really not ashamed to dance before the Lord to come down front. Get them moving, because guess what? We're about to do it in a minute. Everybody who's not ashamed to dance before the Lord, I want you to come down front. We all feel it all of this. Everybody who ain't ashamed. White, black, Hispanic, all of us. Just come down front. Let me put it this way. Those of you, those of you who, go, who, who want to fight for your joy, come down front. <laughs> those of you who want to stay depressed, stay where you're at. Those of you who are ready to loosen up in the spirit, I want you to come down front. Now, I'm, it's, it's, I'm telling you, this is going to be fun. Before this, when this song is over, everybody here is going to have a smile on their face. Nobody going to be walking around here looking like this, and, you know, like you sucking lemons or nothing. Everybody's going to look like God has been good to it. This side over here is charged up. I already feel y'all. Now, I need some of this. I need some. Can I get some, some, uh, some praises from over here to come down front? Because this side, they on, they on, said, forget y'all. Come on, y'all, because we're we going to do this together. Those in the back, come on down. Is that my man Chris back there? Come on down, Chris. You coming down with this. Come on. Come on. You coming down with this. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. My man Chris from Relevant Worship is here. Amen. And I want my Joshua Revolution family. I want y'all to come down too. So get out them seats and come down for it. <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> come on down here, Danny. Hireland. I want y'all. I want y'all to be seen on this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now, this is, this is what we're going to do. It's very simple. It's very simple, okay? So we need everybody, we, we need everybody to do this together, okay? We need everybody to do this together. Every time the people in the scripture did stuff together, it got God's attention. Even when they were trying to build a the Tower of Babel, because they was on one accord, God still came down and said, what are they doing? And guess what? On the day of Pentecost, when they were on one accord, God showed up. Every time there's a unity, God is going to show up. Trust me. Trust me, I don't care what we're doing for the Lord. If we are one accord, God is going to manifest because there's unity. So what we're going to do tonight, because the camera's going to be on you, don't look at the cameras, okay? Don't, don't let the camera scare you. Okay. We all gonna, and I'm not the best dancer, so y'all just pray for me. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all and I ain't going to dance. Okay, y'all do the dance. But, okay, we're going to go one, two, three, clap, okay? Then we're gonna go one, two, three, clap. You know this way. One, two, three, clap. And then you're gonna wave your hands in the air like that. Okay? All right. Now this is a dance of joy. I the Lord showed me in the vision. I see praise teams. I see cultures all over the world doing this dance, and it's starting right here tonight, June 15th. I don't know what. So we gonna have fun with this. Young people, you gonna love it. You gonna love it. You gonna love it. But I want everybody who who's gonna fight for their joy to move around in the sanctuary. I don't want nobody sitting there just watching. Cause guess what? You gonna walk out of here looking like this. <laughs> but if you're excited of what God has done for you tonight, I want you to get up here and dance. It's gonna be fun. I'm telling you, we're gonna have a good time. So, oh Tim, oh God, I shouldn't have seen Tim. Oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> Timmy, I want you right here. I want you to you know, move up closer, Tim, because... Yeah, Lord. I shouldn't have seen Timmy. I shouldn't have seen him. <laughs> okay. So y'all remember the step, right? Okay. Let's we do, do a rehearsal before we, we go into it. Y'all ready? I'm a, we're going to do it without me giving y'all directions. I just want to see how uniform we look. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ah, uh, see, right there. Y'all just, y'all just had the Red Sea happen right there. Y'all went that way. Okay. <laughs> Boy, I could have jumped right in the middle and hit nobody. Okay, listen. 
Let's try this again. <laughs> I feel the joy of the Lord already. <laughs> we ain't even started it. Okay. After you wave your hands in the air, we're going to go back to one, two, on beat, okay? So let's try it. Quick run to it. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and. Okay, good. Now, I know some of y'all are saying this. If we keep going one, two, three, y'all gonna be on stage. <laughs> so, listen. <laughs> and I don't want y'all up here talking about no one, three, two, three, clap. Okay? <laughs> God help me, Jesus. Okay, so what you gonna do, we gonna do two, one, two, three claps forward. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. Woo, 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 woo. All right? <laughs> one, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, one, two, three, woo, 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 woo. And then now you're going to go one, two, three, clap, one, two, three, clap, one, two, three, clap, wave your hands, and then go back again. Okay? I'm going to try the best I can to direct you. Let's do one run through, and then we go hit the track, okay? All right, here we go. Actually, y'all move back a little bit. Y'all scaring me? <laughs> just, just, just want to put that in there real quick. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, hold me, holy God. <laughs> Before we do this, I'm going to let my friend Jesse say something real quick. See, this is not a black thing. This is not a white thing. This is not a Hispanic thing. This is a Jesus kingdom thing, somebody. It's an honor to be here, but before I play a little bit, I got to tell you, that I was born completely blind. And the doctors said, that's what they said. Now whose report will you believe? I was blind till the age of five years old when one morning I woke up seeing and screaming because my mom and dad met this doctor named Jesus from Nazareth. That same Jesus is here tonight to bless you, but you got to dance for it. You got to get your blessing now. You can't wait for tomorrow what you can get right now. Listen, in this country, we buy with a lot of credit. But tonight we're going to praise him on credit. He's good for it. Oh. Somebody say, Gloria a Dios. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Somebody say, Santo. You better get used to it. In heaven, we're going to speak Spanish. You better get ready. <laughs> Let's bless the Lord together. Let's give God praise all in one accord. Okay, here we go. We're about to get started. Y'all got it? Everybody got to dance? When I go like this, that means y'all go back, okay? So we go have fun. And, and, and I may, if, I say get a, if I say get a partner, just grab hands and just, <laughs> just do it together, okay? Here we go. Buffalo, make some noise. Come on, just clap like this. Come on, put them hands together. Come on, y'all, make some noise. Get some joy up in here.
joy building up right now. The devil can't take your joy, y'all. Look at your neighbor and say, the devil ain't taking my joy tonight. Here we go, y'all. One. Get your joy 
back. Tell your neighbor, we gotta get our joy back. your neighbor's face. Everybody in this sanctuary have a smile on their face. How many of you feel the joy of the Lord right now? But for those of you who haven't felt the joy of the Lord, we're going to do a little bit more. One, two, three, come on, come on. Come on, y'all. just left you what if your girlfriend just said no more baby what if the doctor said there's no hope for your children tonight is that gonna take your joy tonight I invite you to give God praise for who he is tonight with your feet your miracles on the way it's got your name all over it but you got the dance for it one two three Give to God a crazy praise. One, two, 
God's about to do something. Anybody have a holy expectation in your spirit? Amen. Well, I'm from the old school, and I enjoy all the uh, contemporary songs and all the worship songs and music, but there's just something about the songs of the old church that I can't seem to get out of my system. And as the service was going on tonight, I just heard this, you know, they didn't tell me to do this, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> you shouldn't have called me up here. <laughs> well, there's a little song that goes. Come on, put your hands together. Some of you will recognize this. Can't nobody do you like Jesus? Can't nobody Do me like Jesus, he's my friend Can't nobody do me like Jesus Can't nobody do me like the Lord Can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my Come on now, just clap those hands Just clap. 